So um, one of the things, uh, and we're just going to run through some of these categories, and I'm going to go quite quickly. Uh, the other thing, um, Eddie, which I'm terrible at is I don't follow the slides. I follow what I think employers need to know um, mm -hmm. about sponsorship. So ideas keep coming into my mind. Um, and um, generally speaking, I also want to just ensure U.S. employers that the system is very strongly designed to protect U.S. workers. Um, and, you know, it's not like we're giving preference to foreign nationals. Um, the reality is that, yes, it's easier to hire a U.S. worker because uh, there's nothing involved. and um, from a perspective of being an American, being in America, obviously um, they will generally get preference um, if they are equally qualified candidates. I also want to assure people that um, this is not really an option to hire cheap labor. Um, it's true that for the OPT CPT process, the U.S. Department of Labor is not involved, but in terms of H-1B sponsorship, in terms of green cards, the U.S. Department of Labor is involved, and they want to see that prevailing wages are paid. So you can't really bring in foreign nationals on the cheap, as it were. Um, it's not where one of the arguments we've made is the value that international students bring. Uh, is, it's not really a discount. Although on the OPT and CPT, uh, those are not per se, uh, wages are not per se regulated. Uh, but in the H-1B context, which is the basic work visa, uh, you do have to pay a prevailing wage. And similarly in the green card, which I will talk about later. So I just also like to say that, you know, we're not focused on uh, trying to create an advantage for foreign nationals. We just want to make sure that employers have the full range of qualified candidates available in what I'm going to call a relatively painless process. One of the things that um, I didn't really mention on the introduction, but I do want to talk about briefly, um, our firm, um, WR Immigration, has developed technology. Um, it's a system called Rapid Immigration Management System. And one of the things we're proudest of uh, in this um, program is that we've automated a candidate assessment tool. So um, this is really important for companies because one of the things you will see, and I'm gonna try and simplify it, but immigration law is moderately complex. And the question is who qualifies? You don't wanna be making a job offer to a candidate uh, who does not have the ability to stay in the US. Um, and um, how do you know? Uh, a lot of HR have become immigration specialists themselves uh, and very knowledgeable, big companies have in-house counsel. But I do want to say, because I, I notice we have um, uh, a, a manageable number, anybody uh, participating in this program, and I'd probably go on to say anybody um, who gets this um, recording, because hopefully we'll distribute it should feel free to reach out to us um, and, and say, look, you know, we're thinking of hiring this person. Um, we'd like you to assess this individual and um, this would be a no cost assessment. Uh, for larger companies, we actually have completely automated the process. They fill out some forms and our program will actually give you a score uh, and outline some of the risks that are inherent um, let me